any name, Mark Mabel, 42 Main Street. Um, it doesn't matter to me how, how you regard me. I'm a citizen of Brookset. I have no opinions. Whether you consider me as a budget committee chairman, speaking in the or not. I obviously chaired that meeting. I chaired several meetings here. I want to speak to a few things about this. I'm a little disappointed by some of the comments made tonight uh, that consider us to be adversarial uh, to the school board. Nothing could be further from the truth. Um, at, at, the, at the first budget review by Dr. Littlefield, he stressed, and I agree with him, that we should have an amiable and collaborative effort between the school, between the budget committee and the school board. That is what we did at Thursday's meeting. We chose not to make additional cuts. We chose to defer to the school board, who would agreeably know more than we would where that would that those budget recommendations for reductions would come from. We did not want to do that ourselves. We wanted you to decide what to do with it. Our recommendations or our suggestion to the school board was your budget's too high. To reach 62 cents increase in, in the current tax rate, knowing that they're in a tough economy, with bank bailouts, high unemployment, a $14 trillion national debt, foreclosures even in this town, massive layoffs even in this town, bankruptcies even in this town, headlines, headlines every day about budget concerns. I just read one again yesterday about Goffstown, right next door. Everyone's watching their budgets. Everyone's cutting teacher positions or making them part-time. We're not the only ones that are concerned about this. And yet, you're proposing a 60% increase in your budget, and you think, in the same breath, telling everybody that you're, you're mindful of the taxpayers. That's my concern. I would disagree. I would think that the elderly would fix income on, in this town would strongly disagree with you. I'm thinking, whenever I vote on the budget committee, I think of Brookridge. I think of Holly Bear. I think of Webster Woods. You're not alone in this town. Mr. Sullivan likes to say that the school budget is takes the first bite of the apple. The budget committee must encompass all the town and, con and, and consider all aspects of the town, the town budgets and the school budgets and the police department budget. And with the 62% sex injuries, we're not even adopting your warrant articles yet or your school negotiations with your teachers. We are telling you that's too high. We're not telling you where to cut it. What, it's a bottom line budget, we understand that. It's a bottom line budget. And that's why we were deferring to you in a collaborative effort to ask you to help us out with that. And so I'm disappointed tonight that you chose not to collaborate. And this is not adversarial. This is the taxpayers that I'm, that I'm representing. This is not personal. I don't regard it personal any comments that you make, and I don't make any personal comments as well. Regarding the workshop, we don't make motions at workshops. This was supposed to be an informational meeting. Ask questions, get answers. That's all we did. So if you're asking us to make decisions at a workshop, that never happens. So I'm a little, so I'm a little again, disappointed that the school board chose not to accede, accede to the budget committee's deference to collaborate. So I guess we will come up with our own decisions on the budget committee um, as to what your decisions will be. I assume that's what you want us to do. You didn't want to make the papers today to make your own decisions. You want us to make the papers? We'll see what happens. Okay? The school budget doesn't include the Warren articles. It only includes your operating budget. So I also want to add today that just tonight, you added another expend expendable fund tonight for your fund balance. Despite what we've already said about fund balances with the school, with, with the budget committee, certainly you can do it, and I said it earlier. And it's not, it, for me to say disingenuous or myopic, is not adversarial. I believe it's disingenuous and, advers and and myopic to think that you can use your fund balance as an extra option that's not transparent to the taxpayers. That's my personal feeling. That's not a personal feeling of the budget chairman. Okay. So with the bottom line budget, you can't, we're only recommending changes to be made. We were hoping you would do that for us. You chose not to, we'll see what happens. I give you the time. Anyone else? Okay, informational items and correspondence, items for the next agenda.
we've got a business meeting. And uh, 2012-13 Cooks at School calendar. I think we've got a new one. Yeah, it's a doctor. That's what we got. Yeah. Yeah, we'll add approval of warrant articles. Anything else for the 